In this tutorial, we'll create a beginner HTML and CSS website in under five minutes from scratch. So at the top of the page, we have our title, then off to the left, we have a navigation here. And then on the right, we have a section here with a heading, followed by a paragraph section, an image below that, and then this footer section at the bottom of the page. Okay, so I have an index.html file created already here and I'm going to be using a program called Sublime Text as my text editor. It's a free program you can get from sublimetext.com or if you're on a Mac you can use TextEdit or Notepad on a PC. So if you need to go ahead and pause the video for a moment so you can create an index.html file in your text editor and then open it up in Google Chrome. And before we get started, I want to take a second to thank the web hosting company that I use called Bluehost for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get your own .com name and upload your website to the internet, check out the link to Bluehost in the video description. And if you need help uploading your website to the internet, you can email me at help at macintuts.com. Okay, so let's get started with our HTML document at the top of index.html. So we'll start that off with HTML here for our HTML doc type, our head section with our title. I'm just going to call it my HTML website. And then let's drop down to the body section of our website and we'll start off with our header. And then inside of that we'll have a heading one where we'll just say HTML and CSS which will be at the top of our website with the black or dark gray background and then our navigation links I'm just gonna leave the actual links blank with a hashtag you could do, do uh, send it to your website address or to index.html for the home link and then we'll add the about me link underneath that and then the services link and then lastly the contact link Okay, so let's drop down and the next thing that we'll add will be the right section of our website which we'll use an article tag for and then we'll have another heading one and we'll just call it home and then underneath that we'll have a paragraph section. I'm just going to grab some dummy text from the Ipsum website here which I'll copy and paste into our paragraph tag and then underneath our paragraph we'll add the image so we'll just use a placeholder image from uh, via.placeholder.com so I'll do forward slash 500 by 250 or you could do your add an image file here and then lastly we'll add our footer section with the copyright my website text at the bottom of the website Okay, so now we have all of our HTML laid out for the website. So let's move up to the head section of the HTML document and add our style area. Okay, so let's start off with the body section of the website, the body tag here, and we'll just take away the margin that Google Chrome adds inherently, with margin zero. So that's gonna bring all our text off to the very edge of the web browser, and then let's drop to our header and footer and let's say padding 10 pixels all around color white for our text and then the background color we'll use a dark gray hex value here with 434343 and then we want our text to be centered so we'll say text align center so now if we refresh there we have our header and footer section with the dark background the light text and it's centered. So let's move on to our navigation links next. So we'll say nav float left then we'll give it a max width of 160 pixels and then let's say padding all around 10 pixels. So there we have our sort of left column there for our navigation and let's move on to our navigation links with nav A. We'll say display block so they sit on top of one another rather than horizontal and then color 1C, 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 which is sort of a dark gray hex value. And then let's change the font size to 20 pixels. And we'll make it a bold text with font weight 600. And then text decoration none to get rid of the underline with the links. 
So that looks pretty good, but let's space them out a little bit. So let's say padding top 10 pixels. Okay, so that looks like the original. And now let's move over to the right section of the website with the article tag here. So we'll say article and then margin left 170 pixels to move it about 10 pixels further than our navigation and then border left one pixel solid and we we'll use the same hex value that we did for the header and footer which is 434343 and then let's say padding 10 pixels all around just like our navigation header and footer okay so that looks pretty good except for our image here it isn't displaying or staying within the screen so let's just say IMG for the image and then max width 100 percent so it will always be visible no matter how wide or narrow we have the screen okay so that does it for our HTML and CSS website in under five minutes I want to thank you for watching please remember to like this video subscribe and turn on your notifications then I'll see you in the next video Thank you.